This is Brett Brady, Saturday. I'm Matt Boyle, our Washington political editor. We're broadcasting live today from the Sirius XM Broadcast Center on Capitol Hill in Washington, D.C. We're joined on the line right now by another very special guest, Corey Stewart. He's the Republican candidate for governor in the great state of Virginia. The primary is coming up pretty soon. He's running against uh, essentially the, the, the establishment uniparty candidate, uh, Ed Gillespie, who's, I don't know, run for so many different offices in Virginia. He always loses because he can never get conservatives on board with him. Um, so, but anyway, Corey. Corey Stewart, uh, thanks for joining us here on Bright Bright News Saturday. Hey, Matt. Great to be on the show. Yeah. So, you know, uh, when you're looking at this mess that just got put forward on a health care bill uh, before uh, by, by, by Speaker Ryan, what, what's your what's your what's your take on this bill? Uh, I mean, this is, is this a, a, the right way forward on health care? Is this going to make things worse? Well, look, if, if we adopt this bill, we will enshrine this entitlement to Obamacare entitlement forever. We're never going to get rid of it. This is our only chance. This is, is going to make things worse in that regard. It keeps the, uh, the penalties. It keeps the Cadillac tax. It keeps the mandate. The, Congress just needs to repeal this thing and start off clean because uh, this is just real bad news. Yeah, no. Uh, so, you, so you think they should just? You think that Ryan should just withdraw this legislation, start over, uh, and, and and you know, actually, this time around, the next time around, when they do start over, you know, bring in conservatives, you know, talk to the, all the different uh, power brokers, and, and actually bring everybody to the table and actually think this through before rushing through a bill that doesn't solve the problem. Well, that's exactly right. And, and at the end of the day, think about this. I mean, there has never been in the history of mankind. Uh, in the history of the United States, an, e- uh, an efficient health care pos- uh, system designed by the federal government. Uh, in the VA system, for example, somewhere between 50 and 60 percent of the funds for, VA ca- for veterans care are wasted on red tape, bureaucracy, administration. And that's even worse in Medicaid. What I believe they should do is what we did with welfare reform in the 1990s, block grant Medicaid funding, have the state's have the states design a health care system for their own residents uh, by their own industry and by their own states. And that way we don't have a one size fits all. And certainly the states will be much more efficient by designing a health care system for the poor, designing a health care system that's going to be better serve everyone. Yeah, I agree. I think that we need to to rethink this whole little thing. Um, you know, what's really interesting is is that we are what six, seven weeks here into the pre- President Trump's administration, and who would have thought that six, seven weeks into the first hundred days of President Trump's administration, we'd be spending all this time debating this monstrosity of a health care bill that Republican leadership was trying to force through the House of Representatives, ram it on through, pass the bill to find out what's in it, just like Nancy Pelosi did back in 2009 with Obamacare. Who would have thought that we would be doing that in the first six weeks of, of President Trump? Yeah, uh, You know, it's just really shameful, and I think that uh, the truth is that there are a lot of establishment Republicans, you know, on Capitol Hill that really don't support Trump. They're they're saying they're they're saying that they do uh, because they know that the voters, uh, you know, believe in Trump and and President Trump and they're supporting him. Uh, but at the end of the day, they're they're really trying to do just the same thing that establishment Democrats do, which is to keep you know the the mandate, the the health care mandate, um, and essentially prop up a system that's doomed to fail, and that the only way we're going to fix this thing is just to cut. Cut the federal strings. Well, I mean, why do politicians in Washington think that they, together with federal bureaucrats, can design an efficient and effective health care system? They can't. They've never been able to do it. Um, But they're so arrogant, and and they're trying to stuff this down our throats. And we as conservatives need to push back hard and let them know that if they pass this thing, it'll be seen as a betrayal by all of us. Yeah, no, uh, uh, I I couldn't agree more. So, Corey, can you tell us a little bit about the the race for, for governor in Virginia? How you know how's it going out there? What what's the time frame? Uh, when is the primary? How can people get involved? We got a lot of listeners in Virginia. Yeah, well, it's uh, the the Republican primary is on June thirteenth. It's very quickly coming down to just two candidates. There are only two of us on the ballot: myself and Ed Gillespie. Ed was the uh, uh, the head of the RNC under Bush. He was then Bush's 
chief White House counsel. Uh, he's the quintessential establishment Republican who, you know, supports the, the mandate on health care in his book. He supported the Gang of Eight. He supported, you know, the, the amnesty for 12 million illegal aliens. And, you know, I'm, I'm kind of the quintessential anti-establishment renegade. And, but at the same time, I've, I've been a winner. I've been governing the second largest county in, in Virginia for 10 years, Prince William County. It's in northern Virginia. Mm-hmm. I've been able to cut taxes. I put, I put in place the nation's toughest crackdown on illegal immigration. It was the policy that was, that was ultimately copied by Arizona. So if people want to go to my website, www.coreystewart.com or on Twitter, at Corey Stewart VA, we need their help. Uh, if they're not in the state and they can't volunteer, we need their financial help. But we're really coming up strong. Uh, Ed had an early advantage because he ran for Senate and lost in 2014 when all other Republicans across the country were winning. But um, we're, we're taking them on. And this is David versus Goliath, but we're coming up real fast. We have the momentum. All right. Well, Corey Stewart, thank you for joining us here on Breitbart News Saturday. And I uh, wish you the best of luck out there. I know President Trump would be lucky to have you on the governor's mansion in Virginia. Yeah, we will be working with him to put in place conservative policies and practices, especially on health care. We can work together on those things. And Virginia is going to be a partner with President Trump. All right. Well, Corey Stewart, Republican candidate for governor in the great state of Virginia. Thanks for joining us.